Welcome back to Ark Southeast Texas. We are continuing our self-defense series. Now, last time we learned what to do if someone comes up from behind, but as we are getting into the cooler months in Southeast Texas, people might be wearing jackets. So we're gonna learn a move today on what you can do if the person who is coming after you, attacking you, is wearing a jacket, how you can kind of use that against them. So we've got Shelly with us again today to show us some of these moves. Shelly's gonna demonstrate and then Jade's gonna try first. And this one's a little bit more complicated, so. Yeah, I'm gonna explain everything yeah. that I'm doing. We're gonna kind of slow it down a little bit. I'm gonna actually do it twice before y'all get to try Perfect. it. Okay, so they're, they're coming, coming at me. me with a jacket. The first thing I wanna do is I wanna anchor myself to them too. If they're grabbing you, you grab back. So I'm grabbing up here at the collar and I'm just grabbing here at the arm. And I'm gonna take my dominant hand and I'm going to go underneath the collar as far as I can here towards the middle. And another thing to note is you want to keep your wrist in line with your arm. So you want to curl your fist towards your body. This is a good grip. Underhand is stronger than overhand. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull his body down and I'm going to bend with him to do that. And then I'm grabbing the fabric on top like this behind him in line with his neck. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to take a step away from my hands and my arms and bring my arms with me just like this. So I brought this arm over his head, graze his hair, grind your forearm on the ear just like that. And don't let go of these grips right here. And then you see where this, this arm under here is against his neck. I wanna bring that this way and I'm gonna push the other one into his neck just like that. And as you can see, his face is turning red. So we know that he's about to pass out. And if he doesn't want to pass out, you can still go ahead with that. Thing. Just like that. So, okay. And I'm we want to stress too, we've been learning all these self-defense moves. It's important you see it once, but practice is obviously the key because in the moment, yes. if you only do it once, you're not going to remember. Okay. Correct. Yes. So, you do you want, want to show us again? Okay. Yes. We'll so, do one more and then we'll try. So, I'm anchoring myself right here. And then I'm going, if I need to, if their jacket's really tight, you know, these guys try to wear these jackets that don't fit. So you're gonna flare it open <laughs> and grab underhand, hand towards the ceiling in the middle right here. And I'm gonna pull it down. You take a step back to bring them with you. And then you're going to grab with the other hand, the middle of the fabric right here. And I'm gonna take a step away from my hands, graze over the top of his hair, just like that. Now, what are you gonna do? You're gonna keep attacking me? Yeah. So I'm gonna pull the hand with the forearm that's in the throat and push the other one into the carotid arteries. We're trying to make them pass out. If they don't wanna pass out, we can knee them and get away. Okay. So. Aaron uh, answered your question with no, he's not gonna keep attacking <laughs> me after that. <laughs> that's why you pass out. So. Okay, all right. You ready? Yeah. Cool. So you're gonna anchor yourself anchor. to him just like okay. that. Yep. And then you're going to take that hand towards the ceiling, hand towards the ceiling, okay. perfect. You're gonna take a step back and bring his posture down okay. so you can grab the fabric, mm -hmm. perfect. Then you're gonna take a step away, grind that oh, forearm she's across ready. the ear. Yes, just like that. Okay. Yep. And, and you're gonna bring okay. the forearm up here into his throat uh -huh. and you're gonna flare your elbows flare. out, okay. just like that. Yep, keep going, keep pulling, keep pulling. Okay, if he wants to stay there, you can knee him and take off running. Okay. Perfect. All right. That was good. That was good. That was, he's like, I'm seeing stars. That was good. That was good. Okay. Okay. So you're going to anchor come on, come on, yourself, Lord, anchor yourself. Yep, both hands, anchor. You want to grab? Perfect. <laughs> Just like that. Don't make me laugh. So you're going to pull his posture down, grab the fabric, bring that hand over. And you're going to bring those elbows apart. Yep. Just like that. <laughs> and then you can knee them and get away. <laughs> Perfect. We should call this segment, Don't Mess With Me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, there we go. Okay. So that's what to do if you uh, find yourself getting, you know, attacked by someone with a jacket. Aaron is okay. Yeah. I can just show that he's... He's fine. He's good. Okay. We're just practicing. So again... You do need to practice, though, if you are wanting to learn some of these self-defense moves and actually be able to use them in situations. Of course, thanks to Shelly and Aaron, as always, for helping us. And uh, again, you can find all of the moves that we have learned on our website, kfdm.com, fox4beaumont.com. Stay with us because more ARC Southeast Texas is coming up next.